Hi everyone, in this video we'll try to show you is we'll try to do a small programming uh, based on whatever we learned so far. Let's say for example if I if I want to write a small program which will ask the user two numbers and it will simply add up to give the final answer. Okay, so let's start with it like so new so what my program is trying to do is this program okay this program will ask user two numbers okay any two numbers user any two numbers okay and will print its sum right now to make it more interactive guys so what we're going to do is let's first define the two area dot uh, text so let's have a message okay so we're going to have a message like message one uh, dot ascii type now one message will be I'll, as the program run i want the program to display this enter a number okay so that's why i created this first message now uh, I'll just simply copy this instead of typing it I'll be having another message I'll say okay give me another number so I'll first display okay give me a number after that I'll take a number from the user and store it somewhere then I'll display this message enter another number I'll get an answer from them I'll store it somewhere and then I'll try to give it I want to display the final answer like this so I will be having I need a third message saying uh, the sum okay is okay or more nicely if you want to say the sum of two numbers is let's say for me the sum is it depends on how you want to print it so you can make it more um, nice uh, way of printing nice way you can print it out and you can give answer to the user so let's say I just want to print this so whatever message you want to print it make sure that you get it ready this year now so as the program run I want the computer or this program to display for this message so how would you say you know it like okay first what you can do is if you want to display this let's do this way you can load the arguments in a0 comma msg1 so you're saying okay load the address you know the string cannot be loaded directly you can only load the address so you're saying okay load the address of message in the argument register and then when you say okay I want to print this message so to print this message what is the code so you in function register you need to load what four I'm just showing you again so if you want to print a string the syscall code is what four and the string address has to be in what a0 so we know the string address is in a0 I gave a syscall code four and the moment you say the word syscall computer will straightforward print this so in your mind let's imagine that computer has printed this now once the computer printed this I want you to input now after this if the user give a number I want your program to get a number from the user after this and store it in some register okay any register yeah now let me let me be precise guys this program will ask any two I'll make it clear to you we are working with integer right okay not with float right now so it's going to be the easier thing if you know how to deal with float you can just tweak the program to make it float here but let's say we're saying integers here now what happened is once you print this message computer will display this and I told you after this I want you to ask a number from the user how so how do you input a number let me go to the syscall code guys here if you want to read okay um, read an integer what is the code here 5 okay now there is no argument register now why because whenever you tell them to read a number that means the syscall code is 5 and when you say syscall 5 computer understand that you want to input a number but you might say okay where the number is going to come and store then now automatically by default the number will come and automatically will store in the same v0 the same function register okay so it'll come in v0 so remember you don't have to give a separate register to tell them okay go and store there no 
they you once you tell them to read a number automatically comes and store it in v0 i'll explain you right now in this one so let's say after this one so let me write a code here like after this three line this will print msg1 that means the message one will be printed up now after this i want to input a number guys so i'll say okay li dollar v0 comma 5 5 is to input an integer guys okay so this is uh to print oh, no sorry to input an integer so the moment you say 5 a system call code when you load this code system call code in v0 meaning you're telling the computer now that after that printing i want you to input something okay but again they won't do unless you say syscall so when you input you don't have to give any argument register guys but make sure that after you say syscall the automatic number whatever user will give them it'll come and get stored in v0 so now the main thing is yeah you need to move so when you want to move from one register to another command is called move so you know what you need to do you move the v0 to some to other register now you'll say why should i move it because you know like this function registers you use it for what for printing it and for input it so if you don't move whatever value has come up you don't move it and if you let's say if you want to print another message okay by loading four so when you load four in v0 what will happen the user input which was there will be overwritten will disappear so that's why whatever is in v0 let's move it and store it somewhere wherever you feel like so let me let me tell you look here and i told you in the very first start of the video in the first video if you see my first video i told you that for storage you have from if you see on the right hand side you have dollar um, t0 to t9 and s0 to s7 wherever you feel like you can store it so i'll say okay um i'm s saying that move move the value of s f v0 whatever is in v0 meaning whatever user has given and is which is stored in v0 move it and store it in t0 so now you what you're moving from v0 and safely storing in your place of choice so now whenever you move from one register to another guys the command is called move and you have to read from back you're saying okay move from v0 to what t0 not t0 to v0 you have to always read from right hand side to left hand side okay from v0 to t0 so you moved to or you can say move the first input first user input to dollar t0 so you safely stored in t0 now what you want to do after that guys now i want to print but make sure guys this movement this movement should be done after syscall syscall meaning once you say the syscall then they will input guys here so once you have done the input then you move this but let's say for by mistake if you do move this before the syscall and syscall is after that what will happen is they won't um, whatever the previous value of v0 will be there that will be stored in t0 not the actual input so make sure you do the syscall and then move it now after this what you want to do here after this i want to uh want to print this okay so now which is message two so i'll repeat this quickly again guys now so we're going to say okay li so first what you do i'll say load register of uh, message two in argument register so in argument register i'll say load the address of message this message two in argument register and if you want to print a string we know the code is this one so li dollar v0 comma what four and then you say the word syscall the moment you say syscall computer will print this one now after this what you want to do i want to do the same input guys so if you want to do the input after this one now let me write a code here uh, this will print the next message now if you want to in make an input you say li dollar v0 comma 5 so do again i'm showing you that when you say dollar v0 5 meaning you want to read an integer and it automatically come and get stored in what dollar v0 which mean this itself this one 
So you say the word syscall and then you move the value uh, dollar. Let's say you're moving it to T1 from dollar V0. So now the next input you're moving from V0 to T1. Okay, so you I'm going to write move or you can say moving the next input to dollar T1. So keep remember the first input is in T0 and the second input user input is in T1. Okay, after doing this one. So now you know that two input is there. I want to simply add it. So I'll say okay add. Okay, in um, you can st add it and store it any way you feel like it guys here. Yeah. But I will prefer. Okay, you can add it anyway. Like um, you can say okay dollar T3 T3 dollar t0 comma dollar t1 because one is in t0 one is in t1 so i tell them okay add t0 and t1 and store in t3 now you know in order to save the register you could have also stored in t0 so what they will do is whatever is in t0 whatever is t1 they add it and they store it the same value after adding the new value will be stored in the same t0 so you're not wasting any register or you can say t1 meaning add the value of t0 add the value of t1 and the new value store it in t1 it's up to you where you want to st so instead of taking a third register you can save the registers here now once you have add the value i want after this to print like this the sum is and the answer so you are going to print what the third message so so remember here you added basically you adding the two input and storing in dollar t1 so make sure your final answer is in t1 now i want the message to print guys that message 3 the sum is okay i want to print this one the sum is which is message 3 so what you're going to do is again load that message in argument a0 so you said load address remember if you want to load the address is la when you want to load any value is li load immediate so msg3 okay so you're saying okay load the address of message 3 in a0 and when you want to print it in the function register you need to give a code call 4 and when you say the word syscall okay so 4 is to print what integer again i'm showing you see to print a string what was the system call code 4 it has to be in v0 so in v0 when you say 4 the message is loaded in a0 and when you say system call computer will print this the sum is but after this i want the answer guys now where is my answer the answer is in t1 now t1 is an integer so note it if you want to print an integer the system call is what a0 and whatever number you want to print it has to be in a0 so i'll say it after this i'll say li or let me like do it this way let me bring the first uh, arguments now where it is guys the answer is in t1 and whatever numbers you have to print it has to come and get loaded in a0 first so what we do is i will say move why move because the numbers is in dollar t1 and i want to bring in dollar a0 which is both register so when you want to move from one register to another you're going to use a command called move so you say okay a dollar a0 dollar a0 comma dollar t1 meaning you're saying the answer which is in t1 move it to a0 why a0 because whenever you print an integer it has to be in a0 guys that's the rule now you say li dollar in function register give a code one because if you give a code one in function register that means you're telling trying to tell the print what integer okay so now if you say the word syscall your job is done so file let's save it and this is adding to integers okay which is going to be uh, 
after you I mean I'll say two adding two integers or I'll say adding two uh, users input integers now so when we run this um, run like save let me save it here save and when we say assemble it check for out error and for any errors guys now let me mag uh, let me make it bigger and clear all this thing when we run it see what it says here give a number now all these things is coming from the previous program so ignore those things if you want to you what you can do is you can stop it okay you can reset it after resetting it come and say clear and then you can freshly start the program so let's say they're asking you ent in enter a number let's say I'll say 45 see first message is displayed and they're asking you this number and you know this cursor which is blinking that means they're asking you a number I'm say I'm giving 45 and I say enter so that 45 number gets stored in dollar t0 then I say are they asking you okay give me another number so I'll say okay 78 or let me say to to give you easy calculation 55 so that 100 comes up so when you save this and press enter it goes into according to our program it goes in dollar t1 and then they to add the two things in t1 and finally the answer will come the sum is what there you go so the program works like a more more nice interactive manner and they give you the answer is 100 okay now you know what see the program what says here program is finished running but dropped off bottom meaning it just suddenly finished off that means there wasn't any clear exit code now in order to rem there's no problem but if you want to you know make clear with this uh, or you don't want this error or something it's a kind of warning I'll say so you don't want this warning what you can do is I'll show you the final thing here so in every program whenever the program is finished it's very important to do a proper exit and how do you do a proper exit in the function register guys dollar v0 load a code system call code 10 and do a system call now what is this one let me show you if you do a system call 10 in v0 it mean exit that mean you want to exit out the program so whenever you want to exit out the program what you do is just load a value 10 in v0 and say syscall syscall meaning program ends after that if you have any line of code it not going to run okay so this is how um, so if you see I want to run again to show you save assemble it and when we run it now have a look on your bottom part here down to see the output enter a number let's say if I say 41 56 and see the answer is coming 106 but this time they didn't give me a message called dropped off bottom meaning the program completed nicely no warning at all so that's why whenever you want to finish the program make a proper exit okay so this is um, the programs all um, okay so try this program so again I'm just repeating it what we're doing is that we have a three message here okay so this code will print the first message okay then this will ask for an input now the moment input comes it comes in v0 so we are moving the value of the input from v0 to t0 then we are saying okay print the next message again we are telling them to input now whatever input comes the next input guys is again comes in v0 so we are moving from v0 to what t0 so first input is in dollar t0 the second input is in t1 we are adding those two numbers and we can store it in any register you feel like but just to save the space I use dollar t1 so that I'm saying okay add this two and add the both the answer and store it the new value in the same t1 now to get the final answer I'm printing the third message and then after printing the third message you know the final answer then the addition of two number we know is in what t1 but to print it has to come to a0 so are we moving from t0 to a0 then we're giving a system call system call as one meaning print integer and then this is to make a proper exit okay so this is just to show you how to add two numbers in a similar way guys you can um, 
you can add three numbers you can add four numbers you can okay now if you you can do subtraction also if you want to do subtraction just remove this word and say what sub okay if you want uh, to multiply just say mul if you want to divide so you just say divide sorry div okay but make sure in div whenever you're working with two integers let's say if this is seven okay and um, this is let's show you an example I mean if you say div see how the answers come it doesn't come in decimals guys okay if you're doing div because it's all integers so when you're working with integers addition subtraction multiplication is fine but when you come to division you know division generally gives decimal numbers but since they are integers it not and we are working with all integer uh, you know registers which work with only integers so it's not going to give you a decimal numbers so let me resemble it run it okay have a look here uh, let me expand it for you to have a look proper look so reset this clear this and then run it so if i give like seven guys and if i say other numbers so that means you're saying seven divided by two is 3.5 but they'll give you only three so it only give you the quotient it doesn't give you the decimal part okay and the reason why because these in these registers cannot store the decimal part so if you say oh no i just want to store decimal num i want to get the decimal numbers so the only way to get the decimal answer is two options are there either take these two numbers convert them into float get the answer in float and print the answer in float that's what you can do or instead of working with two numbers in integer guys you should always work with two numbers in decimals in floats or double and that's the easiest way to deal with if you want in decimal numbers okay but for this moment let's keep it till integer so you can try with um, the above code can be tried with sub mul and div okay so in the next program i'll try to show you how do you deal with um, how do you deal addition subtraction all this thing with float numbers or with double numbers okay because here you have a restriction that whenever you want to divide two numbers you're not going to get the answer in decimals so if you want to work with uh, any type of numbers and you want to get a decimal so it's better to work in float or double which i'll show you in the next program okay so see you in the next video